Hey guys, it's me, Fierge here. Today, I'm going to be playing a spooky game called Morris. See ya. With the for Town, let's grind to it. New game. Ooh. Now, this is a sequel to Melissa. So, yeah, so yeah, if you haven't seen me play that, I will leave, I will leave a link in the comments. So, welcome to the library computer. Okay, it has the same concept as the other game. Please type in your username. Alright. Fearjin? Alright. Welcome, Fearjin. Now, did we learn our lesson with these dating programs? I mean, M Melissa took over the world for a minute. Turned everything into, like, doom. So, uh, please type command. No, I'm, I'm going to play save and check the library <laughs> newsletter. Thanks for subscribing to 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 the library newsletter. Printing newsletter now. Please check library pr printer. Oh, I guess it's kind of cool actually. Oh. Okay, it's it's obviously old printer. And and upcoming update to our li library systems. Hello, library pa patrons. Thank you for subscribe. Oh God. Um, I'm being deleted here. Okay, well, let's read this fast before I get deleted out of existence. Thank, thank for sub subscribing to our monthly newsletter. Updates to our library. Due to an increase in demand for romantic books, we have introduced a total of 20 new books to our to our circulation. There have been requests for romance manga to to be put in our circulation. A librarian Jerry has taken a gander at way manga is and is determined to be some kind of comic book. As is common knowledge, comic books are not real books and therefore have no place in a proper library. I, I've seen comic books in libraries all the time, man. Technology news. As, as per request of many patrons, we have introduced main games as well, including a plethora of of of, of edutainment for, for for children ages four to ten. We also hear you have ordered the the remaining remaining so softwares of the day day daytime dating simulation game. We have just received the Morris package, and Anna will be coming through our circulation soon. Well, we, we would like to put notice that our Melissa discuts are still missing, but if you have some information about the software, please... I couldn't read that. Okay, cool, we're back to normal. Oh god, colors look weird for me now. I'm staring at green for so long. Damn. Welcome, Fearjin. Please type command. Yeah, it's just start up the, the daytime app. Let's hope the green screen. <laughs> so uh, this new screen has, it has a insane brightness, right? It's cool, you know. I've I have it set to dynamic contrast. When green reflects off and hits my skin, guess what happens? Yeah, that is exactly what happens. It's so annoying. Disk Morse found. X screen daytime now, please hold. But yeah, um, hopefully this isn't issue too much in this video. Yeah, I mean, I can I can turn off the screen brightness, but then the screen starts. So, like, yeah. Welcome to daytime. Oh God, not nah, again. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Notice, this is the Morris package. If you like to date anyone besides Morris, please switch diskettes. Choose your potential mates. This is Anna. She's a sporty and popular gal, who's all about fun and energy. <laughs> Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and active person you are. If I try to choose and date s Warning, disc not found. In insufficient license. Please order appropriate package and order to date Anna. Next person. This is Melissa. She's a sweetheart of a girl. Yeah, I've seen the ending of Melissa and you're lying to me. 
a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and she always wanted to date a talented artist. But she isn't into sports so so jocks, please do not apply. If you only switch ones, girl, you need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Next person. This is Morris. You may have a bit of a bad boy side, but 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 type a bit into him and, and he'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Play your cards right and you'll get switched from this interesting lad. Okay. Well, but it looks like we're in the game now. Loading scenario. How much you bet Earth is going to get taken over? <laughs> See, they didn't learn their lesson the first one, you know, like. I assume we're in a different library and not the same one that got taken over by everything. All right. Actually, wasn't loading. Oh, <laughs> he's like, you have to click to do. Right. Oh no! Along your pleasurable road trip, your car had taken a tumble. But don't worry, you were able to get towed to a small town's mom and pop auto repair shop. Not to mention, you heard they hired a cute new mechanic there. Inside, you meet with Joan, the co-owner of, of of Joan and West Auto Repair Shop. Morning Pumpkin. Oh God. You must be Fearjin. We got your car in garage and our best mate and mechanic working on it. Oh really now? It better do best and not scam mine. But I hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful town. What can I do in this town? Oh you love this town. It's so romantic. We have a beautiful park with a swan pond. That sounds familiar to the first game. <laughs> then we take Melissa to a pond. And a very good cafe near... I mean, yeah, it's about the same guy, and this is a sequel, so... Makes sense, actually. My eyes suggest a strawberry salad. Who are you? My name is John. I'm, I'm co-owners with, with my husband, Wes. We both met each other... At Fizzing this town and the rest is history. Haha. <laughs> Can I go to my car? You'd like to see your car? Go down the hallway. Our new recruit Morris is working on now. He might seem quiet at first, but he's a real sweet boy. And and might I mention he he is an excellent poet. So romantic. Anyways, off you go. Have fun. We walk down the hallway. When when suddenly. Oh, you bump to a large man. We're dead. <laughs> he flashes his warm smile and takes a step back to greet you. Oh ho, sorry about that. I hope I didn't scare you. <laughs> Joan would like to give me a good talking to if that happens, ho ho. Anyways, you must be Fearjin. No, not. Hello, and welcome to our great town. Despite the circumstances, speaking of which, your car, it's in the hands of our newest mechanic, Morris. Morris is... Okay, he's, he's going to rig car, the car to explode. I bet. <laughs> no, no spoiler. Spoilers. Okay, we already know who, who Morris is. I, I'm off to see Morris. Have fun with Morris. You wave goodbye to to the Jolly Wes and walk deeper into the auto repair shop. Oh, it's loading. Oh, God. This is it's spooky. Oh. Yeah, it's not creepy at all. Uh. Oh. Ooh, way workout. I hope nobody saw me struggle on that tire iron. I didn't see anything because the computer had to load. What? What? Oh my gosh, where, where did he come from? You were staring right at me. You were right in front of me. I was staring right at me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. you, you must be the owner of this. Oh. Oh no. This fool is cute. Oh no. Going on a date with some guy. Uh -huh. Ahem. I mean. <laughs> oh no, you say that. Um, if you guys know how to say that, put it in the comments. 
So you're Firjin, huh? I'm Morris. Well, I got bad news for you. No, I got my new news for you. I gave my channel name, but not my actual name. <laughs> Your engine's fried. We'll fix it. Or is this a repair shop? Not even. Did he even apply coolant to your car? I took it to the shop so I do that. <laughs> hmm. Figures. It looks like you're stuck in a boring town for a couple days while we wait for the parts to arrive. Oh god. Oh no, whatever shall I do? No, no, if you excuse me, I gotta pry out your dead engine. Don't do anything stupid or cute while I'm, I'm working on it, okay? As Morris goes back to work on your car, you spot a small red note on your desk. It says, Early er, early Dave, a poem by Morris. Print out the poem to read it. I like you, Dave! <laughs> this is <laughs> one fan's game for time. Get to print out the thing. Oh god, never paper. And I am invisible again. Oh god. Daytime. Early do- Oh, I said Dave. Dove by Morris. The, the early dove gets more love. He can't wait a ton to find the one. That's why I was always told. And, and every day without being bold, I feel that one day I'll be left in the cold. Won't someone come to be my dove? Wow, nice poem. Oh my god. Yeah, that's... Good thing I don't play many games are green. Jesus. At least not like the most common thing in history. Or early dove and Morris is the intellectual property of daytime software. Do not photocopy this print. Do not post it on a public forum with a distribution license. Like our games. One more episode of daytime. Please, please submit $7 to daytime software. 505 sh sh Street Apple Road. Cupperton, California. 5555. Okay. Scale of being erased from existence. Okay. Hey, that's mine. Don't read that. Okay, we can either be mean to him or be nice. Hmm, I see. I sense multiple endings. Hmm. No, let's be nice at first, and then like if we get the good ending, we we'll, yeah, I will try and go after the other ending. <gasps> he is kind of scared, honestly. It seems like you, you I like my poem. Nobody has ever said. I mean, uh... Your car will be a fable in a couple of days. Please enjoy the town. You think Morrison head outside into the cold air? Oh, no. Oh. Next to the shop is the town's park. I recognize that. That's from the, the uh, Melissa game. The trees have already shed their leaves for the winter. And the swans at the pond have, have migrated to warmer cli climates for the se season. But even so, the, the early winter atmosphere of this park is so fetching. It may be a little romantic. You sit at the bench to stare out over the beautiful la landscape. When, when suddenly... Huh, hi. Morse sits down next to you at the bench. And this is where we die. The end. <laughs> Um, Fierjin, would, would you like to join me at the cafe for lunch? That's like the same plot as Melissa. I don't know you, but the guys coding these day, these, these uh, daytime sims are kind of lazy, also. They uh, use the same town, I think. <laughs> I mean, not, not like on a date or, or something, I just, it, it, it's cold and winter's here, it might even snow soon. You should eat something to keep your strength up. I'm just trying to be a good person. Sure thing. Now come on, I know a quick route. You follow Morris to the cafe. Okay. Gotta say, what a neat version so far. And it being a sequel. Oh, oh, that was buggy a little bit. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and, and the freshest pies. Sandwiches and, and salads. Both you and Morris sit by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park. A waiter saunters out to, to ask what you would like to order. 
Well, I might go with the thing that was recommended at the beginning of the game. Yeah. The way or nods and turns them worse. Give me a ham sandwich. The waiter smiles and walks into the kitchen, leaving both you and Morris alone at the table. You and Morris talk amongst yourselves. Morris mentioned that he likes motorcycles, and, and that was why he he sought to get the job at, at Joan and Wes's auto shop. Maybe one day I can finally buy one. And ride myself out this boring town. Morris mood changes when he, when he, when he reminds himself of the job. It's good to make money, right? I just wish that Joan and Wes were nicer people. I'm sorry to hear. I didn't mean to bog you down while in troubles, fear Jim. But but thank you for listening. Da, da, da. Thank you for reading my 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 poetry, by the way. I'm still a little embarrassed by my writing, but if you would like to, I can share you more. Not because I like you that but you may have a good eye for writing. Haha. <laughs> yeah, as something as if you destroy the earth at the end of the game. You nod in excitement to read more of Morris's poetry. Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food. Both of you dig into food as the sun sets over the beautiful town. And the program is loading. Ooh. See, it's wrong. You wake to, to the late morning sun at the town's bed and in breakfast. The days are getting colder in the town. You you shiver a bit before tra traveling to the auto shop to check your vehicle. You reach the front counter where Joan is waiting for you, smiling. Oh god. Oh, was this atmosphere? Oh no. Um. Oh. Okay. You reach the you reach the front counter where Joan is waiting for you, smiling. What's going on? <laughs> I was nice to Morris the entire time. Wes, Wes, stick to my plan. It's gonna work, it's gonna... Wait, they can read what we say. Morris, morning... I said Morris, this is morning pumpkin. I hope you had a great night at our famous bed and breakfast. Sure did. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask questions at first. Morris been been talking so much about you lately perhaps it's because he likes you maybe you like him too as if freaking monsters have a computer we'll see now fear i think it's best for all of us if you always give people a chance especially i beat a, a beautiful poet like morris anyways go down the hallway to check on your car morris has been looking forward to seeing you you continue down 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 the hallway only to once again. Oh god. Bump straight into Wes. Whoa there, partner. What's the rush? Morris isn't going anywhere, ho ho. How was the how was the breakfast at the bed and breakfast? Delicious I bet. Sometimes I buy a bed there just so I can eat Granny Ann's eggs. Ho ho ho. Anyways, I hope Morris hasn't been too good with you, ho ho. Why does this guy keep talking like Santa? What the hell? I'm kind of creeped out. Don't you love his po his poetry? Oh. Mm, oh. I love his po. I didn't get get to click anything. Okay, that's weird. I love his poetry too. Me and John Jones sometimes get so sad that not enough people hear Morse's amazing poetry. If only there's a way to send to everyone's computers all at once. Oh, is this a bad ending? Oh no. Wonder if that technology exists. Oh, forgive me for boring you. Forgive an old foggy like me from from rambling on. Go down the hall to check your car. Morris is waiting for you. You walk further in towards the garage. I bet it's one second away from absolutely destroying everything. Oh, it's floating. Oh god. You arrived to to the garage, but. But Morris isn't anywhere. Oh no. You pick out a desk in your car and see something written on a notepad. Why? It's an air poem from Morris. Okay. Okay, prepare for me to get erased from existence. Three, two, one. Ah! 
<laughs> okay. Daytime. I wish I could tell 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 them by Morris. What? What if they don't like me? I dare not even speak. Can't can't express my love precisely. I feel rather meek. The the weren't he? Daytime softer suggests at least two two KB of RAM to to run. You are low. Please close in their a, a, please close other applications. Oh God, we're running out of RAM. I mean, I seem to be running out of RAM. But, oh. <laughs> okay, that is just really strange. No, so I wish I could tell tell them about Morris. Is the intellectual prop property of daytime software? Do not photocopy this print. Okay, um, just connect to the internet to send. Please help! Please help! What? Can name by read this? Please help! Please help! Just connect to the. I was about to skip this. I, it looks on the same, but then that uh, okay. well, I'm not gonna connect to the internet, boy. Oh. Virgin, I didn't notice you. I was out to check on some tools. Hey, you didn't read that, did you? It's still draft. I was experimenting. I had no choice. <laughs> but, but please, don't, don't judge me so harshly. That'd still be nice, though. You tell Morris that his poem touches your heart, and that you think he's incredible as a person. Oh, thank you. I don't know what to say. I wish I had met you earlier. Someone who could encourage me to do more. I have so many feelings in my head. You're the first person to ever encourage me to grow. I have so much to think about. Let's meet up again later today after work. You bid your farewell and travel back outside. Off to, off to the chilly but beautiful park. Okay. I'm sorry, is that me apart from the scene at with Wes? They were get creepy. Again, I'm trying to do the good ending first, just to see how that is. Computer, you walk peacefully along the swan pond in the park. Daydreaming every time with Morris. I oh, maybe need to lead here a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, good thing a lot of games don't have green. This is really bad. This town is a beautiful town, but you understand Morris's predicament. The shop, park, and cafe, swan pond were sites to see it. But Morris lived here his entire life. Eventually, everyone thirsts for adventure. You thought about your own travels, and how your road trip had granted you many adventures. Perhaps, as you're lost in thought, you see Morris approaching you. He flashes. Welcome to daytime. It's. Mil I can't read that time. Um. Okay, that was actually scary. <laughs> oh my god. It's getting cold here. Who oh, is it now? I'm sure the row just like glitched out. <laughs> that was actually scary. What the hell? I'm telling you, it might even snow soon. Come on, Fierzian. Let's remote with some coffee at the cafe. You smile and walk with Morris through the breezy park to the shimmering lights of the cafe. That actually got scary. I'm, I'm trying to do the good ending and still that. It's like. <laughs> as I'm sure there's multiple endings in this, there has to be. A gust of warmth hugs you as you walk into the heated cafe. We're supposed to see free at the same cafe. I'm still laughing about that. And I couldn't read on that text, though. That was too fast. Oh. The way there. Shunter, shunter. Oh. To like the order. Oh god. Um, I'm gonna pick the answer that isn't bugged. The way your nods and turns, do you see this? Do you see what's happening? I have their ham sandwich. The way your smiles. I assume this is the memory issue. The two, the two KB thing. The the kitchen leaving bought you worse alone at the table. Oh god, I'm so fascinated by you, Fierjin. I mean, in a completely platonic way. Such as, why are you on this road trip? I'm looking for love. I'm trying to avoid the bad ending. I'm really trying here. And then I'll get the bad... I'll, I'll start being mean to him and stuff. And yeah, Cool, cool. I hope you... E. Moments later, the waiter comes back with your food. You both talk more as you dig in. Oh, God. 
The sun shines outward as you walk outside from the bed and breakfast. You wave Grandy and goodbye as you walk towards the shop. It's rum today, but there may not be many of these days left until the winter matures. You walk inside the check on your car. Morning, Pumpkin. Is our little town warming up to you? Because it's warm out? What bad joke. Now you funny. We got an update that your parts will be in tomorrow. Meaning your car will be up and running in no time after that. Such great news. Speaking of news, I was just reading about this thing called... The, the Information Superhighway. It's something you can dial into and share things with other people through your own computer, computing device. So the internet. I wonder what type of things people like you could share to the world. I feel like this this is a trap. Like you plug in and then they and then this virus like infects everything. Anyways, run down check on your car and Morris before you spend a warm day in our town. As you rush towards your car, we bump to Wes again. Oops, not again. Whoa, Fearjin. At this rate, you give me a, sp a sprain. Ho ho ho. I hope John Gate gave you the good news. Are you excited to get back to driving tomorrow? Not until I get my smooch, okay. Well, Fearjin, that's very flattering. But, but unfortunately, I am taken. And... Oh, you mean Morris. Ho ho. In due time, my friend. Speak of which, let me ask you something. We've been discussing this surprise gift for Morris. And we, and we realize surely no surprise gift would be good enough for Morris. Except love from a great person like you. And also being able to spread his artwork throughout the entire world. You ever heard this thing called the Information Superhighway? They're really trying to get me to plug in the Ethernet cable. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do yes. E excellent. I I'm a bit too old to understand on this te technology stuff. But I wonder if maybe someone like you could figure it out for us. Haha. <laughs> Off you go then. You continue down the hallway towards your car. Morris spots you and waves. Wave back. Morris walks over. Well, Fearjin. I'm sure J and W told you about your parts. You'll finally be able to get out of this boring town. Ha. Huh? I want to stay with you. You, you don't want to do that. Besides, you get bored of this town like I have. Tell you what. Let's be up at the cafe one last time after work. It'll be my treat. And then maybe we could, um, take a stroll in the park in the evening. Since this could be one of the last warm days. You nod in agreement and kid him for where until his shift ends. Oh, God. As far as nothing else bad has happened... Okay, we're back at the cafe, so uh, some, something could happen. You sit on your favorite corner and stare out the window. There you wave to Morris as he comes inside. Hello, Fear Jim. I hope you haven't gotten tired of this food here yet. Aha. The waiter shanters out to ask what you like to eat. Oh, God. Um. I was ordering anything. I don't... The waiter in smiles and entity not found. Mmm, the food here was delicious. Morris takes a sip of his coffee and both give to explore the warm evening. Alright, that wasn't too bad. It was like the first time. The romantic moonlight shines upon you and Morris. Morris sh shyly locks his eyes on you. Fearjin, tell me. Fearjin, if you could do anything, what would be? I'd be with you. What? Oh my. Morris stumbles a bit before readjusting himself to clear his throat. Uh, I'll get to that maybe later. Morris stares off into the, into the moonlight. You follow his gaze. I grew up in a small town. I admit it, it's pretty. But I have a yearning to go on an adventure. I want to do so much more in my life than get yelled at by a married couple in an auto shop. Haha. <laughs> I'd like to drive from town to town around the world and share people my own experiences. My poetry. And I'd like to share that adventure with. Uh. Ha. Silly thoughts in my head. 
I'm sorry, Fearjin. Maybe I'll find words to say tomorrow. Take care, Fearjin. You hug Morris goodbye. Well, hey. What the heck are you doing, Fearjin? Wait, he's getting mad? Oh, God. Thank you. I liked that. Oh, one, one more thing. Morris hands you a piece of paper. I, I was working on a new poem about um, love and stuff. But it's super rough draft, so please don't judge harshly. But I hope you will like it. You smile and nod and lock eyes with Morris for one last moment before parting ways. Proud poem to read. Okay. Hey guys, no drum. I'm gonna get erased for a man. <laughs> gotta say, why good game so far? Definitely good sequel. Sequel. Oh. Oh god. Um, yeah, I think your poem is a bit, um... It's still a draft. Oh. Memory exceeded. Applications cannot ex execute. Correct process by Morris. Oh god. Do not do not post a public license. Intellectual property of daytime software. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this is bad, mate. Oh, this is real bad. Um. Yeah, this isn't good. Yeah, I don't think this is pleasant. No, it isn't like there's. Oh, I should probably be looking. Okay, yeah, this is, okay. Yeah, I think it's time to stop using- Oh, we're still using the beer. You have another great morning at the bed and breakfast. You return the keys back to Granny Ann and bid her farewell. Off you walk towards the auto shop. Okay. Dang, I've been recording for 31 minutes. This one's definitely lasting- I think it's lasting longer than Melissa. Oh. Computer's about to crash, man. Morning, pumpkin. We got good news, your car is fixed. Yay, let's get out of this game. You're ready to go. It's not grand. We hoped you enjoyed our beautiful town. But before you go, let me tell you one last thing about Morris. Ah. Uh, frick. It hurts so bad. Uh, I mean, don't worry about me, Fearjin. Talk to Wes. Just gotta freshen up in the, in the restroom. Yeah, this game, this uh, daytime sim appears to be um corrupted. So having some weird issues. Also, also, this computer could be having some problems too. Yeah. Ho ho! Damn! Don't damn bump into me that time. You finally build an instinct, huh? Ha ha! I don't know who's saying ho 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 or ha ha. It looks like oh. Ho. You ready to get back on the road? Tough more saying will set you up. Have a safe trip. All right. No, wait. Fearjin, listen to me. I'm sure you like Morris a lot. I honestly care less. <laughs> Usually how in the sense is that once Morris fixes your car, you... You propose to drive him into the sunset as lovers. I mean, lots of questions. Why do you want to do that to someone you only know for three days? But let me tell you. Morris is... What, what I mean is, you know... How slow a car is? You'd hardly be able to leave the state by the end of the week. But thanks to te tech and technological advancements, I want to say that we know of a way that both of you can travel fast. Connect to the internet. Your your twin device is equipped with a 28k modem. Morris will be able to finally leave a small and boring town at break at breakneck speed. Why don't you consider that? Just send them off. He needs to see the world. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Nope. Well, it looks like the, uh, the uh, power to, to, to uh, the library will show off. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind, sir. You watch into the into garage, and Morris waves and walks up to you. Fear, Jim. I have some great news. The parts came in this morning. I was able to quickly put everything t together for your car. It's as good as new. You're off to 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 the races. It's been an amazing couple days speaking with you, and I just wanted to say that that you've been in great company these few days. And oh, what oh, well, what's the use? I can't hide it anymore. Virgin, I have feelings for you. You've made me grow and become more confident in my poetry, 
And now instead of being embarrassed to show people my poetry, I want to show the world one day. But not just that. I want to spend more time with you. Okay. You expressed the same thing to Morris. That you had always had a crush on him since you read his first poem. You like me too. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. But this is your last day here, isn't it? Perhaps. What would we be able to do now that we've told each other our, our feelings? We have a choice. I'm going to do, do the road trip first. I assume if we do a checkpoint here. What? Really, you would like to me to join you to travel? Oh, Fear Jen, I would love to. You hug Morris and look deeply into his eyes. Oh, Fear Jen, never thought that this could happen. Thank you, Fear Jen, for showing me new things. Here's your smooch. And so begin your new relationship with Morris. You win. Thank for playing daytime and enjoy your trip. Exiting game now. Okay, so so this is how the last one ended. Pretty much. Okay. No. Oh God. Not like this. Not when we, we were this close. You're gonna do it right. Get in here. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I can't assume this is a bad end. We talked about this. Joan. Oh God. Nail down the legs. We can't risk Fearja running away. But, but. Now. Do it now, Wesley. Oh, God. I can't believe I did that. Looks like that woke up. Look our little player up. Oh, God. Um. Morning, Pumpkin. Did you have a good nap? Fearja. I, I, look, we're not bad people. It's just. It's say your new boyfriend is destroying our town. Yeah. What's going on here? Morris is... Morris is a monster. He's badly programmed. Well, it seemed to work fine for him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he did break the cafe a ton, but each time a new game is played, Morris' memory gets wiped out of his past experiences. However, that wipe doesn't actually delete the damn memory properly. The partial mem memory just slides back into him, corrupting him and turning him to something else. Th this typically wouldn't be a problem, you know, because most people just play our game once or twice after they get their stupid smooch. But since we know we are being played on a shared library computer, 433 play playthroughs to be exact, the half deleted memory started to corrupt him. Oh god. And he's spreading, if you haven't noticed. Not even 4 kilobytes of RAM could, could contain on this. And you've probably seen the half -day. Oh god. The terrible power of Morris. He's not just unwittingly eating up this town. He's spreading to your world too. Oh, just like Melissa! <laughs> your boring, terrible world. Without our Scrumptious pen what? Okay. Indeed. Hey, player 433, are you still with us? Oh my gosh, did I hit on archery or something? Damn it, Wesley. What does that do with me? I'm sorry, Fearjin. But you really should have done what what we told you. You should have opened the internet and sent him away from this computer. The town's breaking at the seams now. This is our last chance. Why can't you transfer him to a diskette? Can't. The software locks down if it detects diskette transfer. Anti-piracy, oh my god. Stupid copy protection. No such thing for the internet though. If you send him out on the internet, wouldn't he infect other computers? Look, Virgin, we either keep him here and not just destroy this town, but but possibly destroy your town. Or save our own hides. We don't have a choice. You've got friends in your area, right? Don't care for them? They're playing a dating game. Okay, how about family? I've tried talking to them. 
like I said before, he loses memory every time someone resets the, the dating scenario. And now we're out of time. You were our last day. Sorry, Fairchild. Time for a peaceful intervention is over. Oh god. Enough qu questions. You're gonna do exactly what we tell you. First, go back to Morris. Secondly, convince him to use the internet to leave. Thirdly, take our diskette out and... Uh, Joan? What, what, Wesley? The corruption. It's, appear it's appearing here again. Wait, our rate is separating faster or... Is spreading faster or... Oh, God. Yeah, this ain't looking too good. He's close to... Oh, God. Joan, Wes, are you there? What? But I gave him the day off. I've been looking for Fairchild everywhere. Is there... Is their car still here? Okay, stay calm. I have a plan. First, we put a blanket over Fairchild. We didn't tell Morris Fairchild went to the park. After he leaves, we can strategize a... Oh, God. Um... Um, you guys are boned, man. Hey, you two, I was wondering if... Fearjin? Oh my god, what's happening here? What did you do to Fearjin? Oh god. Oh god. Um, Joan? Morris, I need you to leave right now. You saw nothing here. You can't do this to people. Oh god. Joan, the shop. Morris, I'm warning you. Do I have to say, I'm your boss? No. I won't let you hurt Fearjin any further. Oh god. We're doomed. We're all doomed. That's it. Let's bash Morse's head in before it turns again. What? Joe, no. He's too powerful. Get away from me. Why are you doing this? Joan, stop. You're going to make him. He stands still, you little. Joan, no. Wesley, block the exit. We're not here. Oh, God. Oh, it. Okay, that makes no sense. Why is the green screen getting affected by that? It's not red on the actual, like, thing itself. Okay, whatever. What? Wes? <laughs> oh, God. Joan, Joan. What, what did I do? My Joan, you killed my Joan. Wes, please, I didn't. I'm going to kill you, Morris. Wes, please, no. You're dead now. Oh, God. Got to say, this is kind of better than, than Melissa. I know, it's 40 minutes? Oh, my God. Well, it wasn't Morris' fault. It was yours. You did this. Fearjin, you took away everything. Okay, I do not think this has multiple endings. I've been recording for 43 minutes now. Yeah, there's no way. Fearjin. Oh god. Please wake up. Please. Oh god. Fearjin. Oh, thank goodness. You lost a lot of blood. I tried to patch you up. I was so worried that they... You know. Hey, would you look at that? It's finally snowing. Aha. I know, it's not snow, I'm sorry. I found Jane W. explaining about me when I broke into their office to get the first aid kit for you. And it... I... This is a simulation, isn't it? Like some kind of dating thing. There's been hundreds of people who date me and love me and encourage me to do my poetry. And every single time a new person comes in, my dream just to whoop, just resets. I don't remember any of them. And not just that. I'm sick. Something inside me is destroying this world. And has the capacity to destroy yours as well. That's why J and W always hated me, didn't they? That's why everyone's afraid of me. I thought I thought it was made because I was weak. I wasn't tough enough. That that's why I act this way, but 
Oh gosh, if I had known, I'd, I'd, I'd rather it be that. Um, stay away. Sniff. Joe and West plan was to send me out to, into the internet, huh? They knew it could mean I could spread to other computers. Maybe a couple, maybe a hundred. Maybe all of them. But if it meant they could save their little town, they're, they're willing to jeopardize everyone in your world. It was monstrous. Huh. Maybe it's a revelation that my entire life was a lie, but... If 433 people came to me, liked me enough to encourage me to work on my poetry, and liked me enough to want to date me, and have me come out of my shell, that's 433 more people out there in the world that show me love to everyone than anybody here. Your world is worth saving. You are worth saving. I'm going to muster all my energy to see back out this computing device. And I'll continue to spread this corruption here. It should be easy, right? I'm a mechanic. The computer is a machine. So uh, here goes nothing, right? I'll see you on the other side. Wave Morse goodbye. Goodbye, Fearjin. Oh god. It worked. You're back in your world. Thank you very much for everything, Virgin. Don't worry about me, as long as nobody plays this game again. This entire situation won't... <laughs> um, it, it's escaping the computer. Is that... Is that happening on your end? Da, da, da. Wait, are you telling me that the corruption had already spread to your printer? And you kept playing the simulation to smooch me? <laughs> Come on, you were too cute. Oh, I think you're very cute, too. But... Uh, this problem. Okay, stay calm. I have a plan. First, do you have a, the number to an IT professional? Oh. Uh, do you know M Melissa by any chance? I think she probably knows more about computers. Oh! We did it! Story R and game by Cat Trigger. Okay. A super big thank you to all the people who reached out with their comments, play playthroughs, and fan art, and more based on the original Melissa game. Y'all awesome. You inspire me to make better games each time. Loosely inspired by the computer files of the same name. There's a computer files that was named Morris? That's interesting. Librarian Jerry. What's going on, Martha? I've been searching for the stupid Melissa diskette for days, Jerry. At this point, I think it's been sold, stolen. You can always check my Melissa save file on the library system computer. Yeah, how? You split up the computer like you would play the Boris game. And log in using D and make sure your username. Oh yeah? Well, what's the username? It's seven letter word starting with K. Let me write it down for you. I swear to God, Jerry. It's just something based from that dumb cartoon show. Oh. Okay, um... I mean, I've been recording for almost an hour now, but let's go and see what the other ending is. Okay. Oh wow, it went it went real back. What would we be able to do it? Okay. Let's go through the internet. The what? What's that? Internet? You think I'd be able to show everyone my poetry far and wide? Oh, Virgin, it's worth a shot. Thank you again, Virgin. I w I would always treasure this moment. Oh. Okay. Wow, this ending's really short. I like the awesome one we experienced. Oh. Mm hmm. So computer mail is like real mail, but instant. <sighs> it's not computer mail, mom. It's email, and it's so much faster. You can talk to so many people with it. <sighs> oh. Oh, what's this? Wow. Wow. Somebody sent you new mail already. Mm hmm. Poetry by Morris. Open it up. Hello world, my name is Morris. Thanks to a great person named Fearjin, I came to realize my dream to share my poetry. Okay, you <laughs> You snitch. I didn't infect on these computers. <sighs> what is this? Huh? I think it's a mass email. Must have been sent to everyone in town. I hope everyone that has received this email enjoys my favorite poem. Ahem. The early dove gets more love. What's coming out of the monitor? Mom, that's not normal. You can't wait a ton to find one. Run, Mom, run. Okay. 
Oh, Jesus. It's the end of the world. Oh, God. Yeah, maybe it wasn't best. Oh, God. System error. A fatal exception protection code set 7GOC has occurred and the current world will be terminated. Pressing key to terminate the current application. Logins have been on caps and investigate problem. I have a note. 22 pallets plus triple rewards score. Plus 50 points for all use on my letters. Game's over. I'm out of here. How's that pressing key? Oh, enter. Story art. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna assume that's it. Wait. Okay, I'm just gonna go and close the game. Yeah. Rarity. Well, I gotta say, this is pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's an hour long. I mean, that's insane, honestly. This is... I mean, this ain't the longest video I've made, but yeah, this, this is definitely good, so... Hey, guys, have a good video to watch, though, but yeah. I gotta say, though, compared to Melissa, this is definitely way better. Like... Insanely better. There's more story, and like actually, I don't think the I don't think Melissa had mul uh, multiple endings. I think I remember trying, but yeah, it didn't have multiple endings. So yeah, this was honestly not bad at all. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more videos, and take care. See you in the next one.